Now you need to place everything into the incubator. So place the fan to the right hand side of the light bulb. <coughs> so you blow the air around the incubator in that direction. Put it on a slant. And uh, when you put the lid on, you want to pull this probe from the thermostat to the position where the eggs are going to be. And then put your thermometer in there. And then switch it on, set the thermostat to 37 degrees, and we're going to test it. Okay, the, in the incubator is now switched on. Now you need to sort of calibrate it so it works at the right temperature. Now you just ignore these numbers on this dial, they don't work very well, it's not very accurate. Um, just a few things I've changed. Number one, I've put some white tape on here to cover up the light because it was shining whenever I try to look into the incubator second thing I've put a sponge underneath the fan it's just placed there and the fan's been put on top that basically um, mutes the noise that comes from the fan vibrations it's much quieter than a little tab here which um, will allow me to open the incubator whenever I need without picking at it with my fingers and inside the incubator, if you actually look, I think you might be able to see right at the back there. I've taped the cables for the fan and the light bulb above the bulb, so it doesn't—they don't fall onto the bulb and interfere with it. Um, also, included, I've included a little wedge there, which is a little piece of spare polystyrene I had. So that when I open the incubator, I can actually place the wedge here to hold it open for me. That would be useful because um, you'll need to turn your eggs three times every day, at least two times, 180 degrees. So the best way to manage this, I'll show you when the eggs actually arrive. Um, you put a cross on one side and a circle on the other side and you keep flipping them, rotating them. So you will need to open the incubator, which is why these two things will be quite handy. So the incubator is now at 37.3 and it's gone off, which means the thermostat needs adjusting a little bit because it's switching off at too low temperature. I want it to switch off at around 37.9 and then it'll come down, it should get to around 37.3, then switch back on and keep on doing that cycle. You don't want the temperature to fall below, say, 37 or above. Um, or above 37 so you want to stay in the 37 figure so I'm going to turn this clockwise slightly and wait for this to switch back on and there we go and you'll just keep doing that adjusting right or left if it's getting too hot and it's not going off that means you need to bring the temperature down a little bit and you need to twist the dial left if it's turning off a uh, too low temperature then you need to turn the dial right and increase it and eventually you'll reach a point where it's switching off and switching on at the perfect temperatures one other thing that I've changed is the bulb um, it's now a 60 watt bulb rather than the 25 watt original bulb that I had in there it's only red because red is the only bulb I had around the house you can use any colour that you like white is probably best um, I increased the wattage because um, when the thermostat was switching the incubator off um, when it actually came back on the temperature carried on dropping because the 25 watt bulb wasn't um, heating up fast enough so 60 watt bulb works much faster it, as soon as it switches on it starts heating up the incubator so it's much more effective. Now you can see the water has gone in. Um, the aim is to have the humidity above 45 and then below 65. And then in the last three days of incubation, the humidity should be above 75. So right now um, it's working. The humidity is going up. Um, if it goes up too much, 
that means I'll need to get a smaller container because the surface area is too large if it doesn't go high enough that means I need a larger container to increase the surface area or I need another container and you just work it like this um, it's actually going down now because I opened the incubator to make an adjustment but it'll start going back up again so. ok the incubator is now set it should come on any second now and there we go so it's switching on at roughly 37.2 37.3 and going off at around 37.8, 37.9 and that's what you want, you basically want it to be oning and offing in the range of 37 degrees you don't want to go anywhere outside that range now if it does go slightly outside of that range for a short period of time you'll be okay because the eggs they hold the temperature for a while but you don't want it to go out of that temperature for too long so if you have that problem quickly get the temperature back to normal um, the humidity is a decent um, level as well it should be between 45 and 65 um, I'm gonna leave this on overnight um, the best way to get an accurate reading to see if your incubator is properly ready you should leave it on for a while so I'm going to leave it on overnight and in the morning we'll come and have a look and if it's held the temperature and the humidity then it's ready I'll get some eggs and I'll have to After playing around the incubator is now working much better I've actually moved the thermostat um, the thermostat rod closer to the bulb so it reacts much quicker now so the range has now improved it between 37 point seven and thirty seven point four and the humidity is spot on is at fifty six percent and to get the humidity right all I did was increase the the size of the water container slightly I used a slightly bigger the incubator is now set up it's working nice and stable the temperature staying around thirty seven point five thirty seven point six and the humidity is around sixty percent and I've put the eggs in I've added a safety net <laughs> so that when the chicks hatch they won't um, go near the bulb and I've moved the pin for the thermostat close to the bulb that way um, it reacts quicker to the temperature change and as you can see there's holes on the sides now and on the top of the incubator this is for controlling the humidity and there's pieces of tape there so if the humidity starts going up you can open up some holes to get it back to around 60% and if it starts going down you can block some holes and that's it I'll see you in 10 days when we handle the incubator turning schedule that I've made um, it basically just tells me how many times I've turned the eggs per day because the incubator doesn't have an automatic egg turner what you need to do is rotate your eggs 180 degrees at least three times a day and you want to do it in the opposite direction each time you do it and each night you want it to be facing different to the night before so basically what you've got here is day 1 to 30 and on the side you've got morning, afternoon and night so in the morning I'll turn the eggs 180 degrees to the right in the afternoon I'll turn them back 180 degrees to the left in the, at night I'll turn them 180 degrees back to the right and they'll stay on the right for that night then I'll do left, right, left the next day and they'll stay on the left for the night so each night they're on the opposite side and when you actually go to turn the eggs what you'll need to do is unplug the fan because if you open the incubator with the fan still switched on it'll cool down a lot quicker because all the hot air will get blown out so switch the fan off quickly lift the lid up and rotate the eggs using your fingers and then quickly put the lid back down and turn the fan back on and that's it